Hello and welcome to my garden and the dinosaurs who live there. Today I want to have a look at hostas and uh, more specifically how to get some hostas from seed. So last autumn I gathered hundreds of seeds from some of my hosta plants and um, I've tried a couple of times, once just before Christmas and once now, um, February time, uh, to, uh, to germinate some seeds by basically sowing them in soil. I've managed to get three hostas from the first batch that I sowed, but um, they, they've grown, but they're, they're quite small and they're not doing anything at the minute. But there are other uh, methods for germinating hosta seeds. So I thought I'd try some or one of those now and uh, show you what I'm doing. So for this exercise, we need the following. Uh, a couple of poly bags, kitchen um, sandwich bags, a sharpie, some bottled water, some kitchen towels and some trusty seeds. And these are hosta seeds from Hosta Millennium that uh, I gathered last year. Hosta seeds don't come true so you don't quite know what you're going to get when you um, grow hostas from seeds. So uh, you could get a variety of leaf shapes and colours and so on. Mostly you'll just get green uh, leaf colour, but I don't mind. It's all an experiment and it's all quite exciting growing hostas from seed. Okay, so what I'm going to do basically is moisten some kitchen towel, scatter some seeds onto it and then put it in a poly bag. And I'm going to do that twice because one of the poly bags I'm going to leave out um, at room temperature um, on a window ledge somewhere uh, and the other one I'm going to put in my heated propagator and I'm going to see how we get on germination wise and between the two which germinates first. So first things first I'm going to label my bags and this is the uh, sixth of March and we'll just say prop that's going in the propagator and this is 6th of March and this is on uh, in the, the room so I've got those labelled so that I actually know which is which. Next it's not very thick kitchen roll I'm going to moisten this, so I'm going to go to the sink to do that, so I shall be back momentarily. And I'm using bottled water rather than water out the tap for no other reason than I think it's it's a bit um, purer for seeds. You probably don't have to do that. Okay, so here we are, <clears throat> the first one. I better dry my hands. Okay, so let's get some seeds out. There's about 20, probably a little bit more in, in this little package. I packaged them up in 20s. Um, okay, so you can see them, off the seeds, they're very, they're quite delicate, quite papery and very long and thin. Um, so I might well fire these all over the place, but let's see. Okay, maybe. You look at a couple. Okay. 
they're quite delicate. Right. Yeah. Okay, so that's first batch. And now what I'm going to do is fold it over and pop it in here. Oh, these bags are a bit, even though I've got it open. Oh, I don't want to open. There we go. There. Might just fold it over again, actually. Bing. So, the seeds are safely in there. It goes into a poly bag. I seal the poly bag. And that's the one for being in the room rather than in the propagator. And I have, here's one I did earlier, another piece of moistened kitchen towel. There we go. And some more seats. Oh, that's not some more seats, that's the ones I've just used. <laughs> Hang on. Some more seats. Let's see if I can distribute these a bit better this time. It's very weary about breaking them as I handle them because they are very delicate. Right. Let's see if this, I've never tried this before I hasten to add. So um, we'll see how we go. What I expect to happen is in up to about a couple of weeks time to get little tiny shoots coming out of the end of the seeds, some of the seeds. And the objective is to let them grow for a little while till they're maybe about half an inch long. Then I can put the seed into compost. That's the idea. Let's see how it pans out. <laughs> right. And let's see if I can open this bag any easier. Yeah, I'm sorry about the, the lights. I know I'm working I'm working in the kitchen and put the kitchen light on because it's dark outside now. Um, and um, undoubtedly there's shadows, I apologise. But hopefully um, you have seen what I've done. So there we have it. So this one's for the propagator. I'm a bit wondering if it will dry out completely in the propagator. Um, I'll keep an eye on it. It might be that I can maybe just open it up and moisten it a bit because the propagator is at about 19 degrees at the moment, I think. Uh, yeah, so we have the two, my Hosta germination experiment, and I'll keep you posted as to how I got on. Thanks very much for watching, folks. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and um, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye for now.